For the Product Sense interview question, where you're asked, design a product to help people find doctors. A key step in solving this is identifying which users you want to build for by segmenting users. Here's a framework and some unique tips to help you segment users that are less generic and that will help you stand out. Hey guys, I'm Diana and I'm a senior product manager at a big tech company in Silicon Valley, California. And I bring you the best tips to get into product management and teach you how to succeed once you've made it. So the three things I'm gonna be covering to help you segment users better is the one, map out the ecosystem. Two, I'm gonna share some tips on segmenting. And three, I'll teach you how to prioritize a segment you wanna build for. And we're gonna use the question, design a product to help people find doctors. The first step is mapping the ecosystem. You want to show the interviewer that you have a big picture understanding of the ecosystem and how the end users are related to the stakeholders. So in this example question, what is the ecosystem of finding doctors in the US? The stakeholders range from the doctors who are part of hospitals or association or private clinics. And then you have the insurance companies and then you have the patient. A key tip here is most times product sense and product design questions want you to build something for the end user. But here it's really important to make sure you understand the incentives of the players in the ecosystem because if the incentives are misaligned, it'll be really hard to drive adoption for the product. Two, I'm gonna share some tips for segmenting. A straightforward way to help you come up with user segments is asking yourself, who are the most frequent users and the least frequent users trying to accomplish this task? Think about the extremes in the spectrum. For example, here the most frequent users trying to find doctors are probably those with chronic illnesses like cancer or with rare diseases who need to go for multiple tests, multiple consults. The least frequent users are those who are going for their yearly checkup. And along the spectrum are patients who might need an extra consult from a specialty doctor to double check something to prevent any chronic illnesses. Comment below if I'm missing other user segments that you can think of. Here's a checklist you can have in your back pocket to help you determine whether your user segment is good or not. The first thing on this checklist, segmenting by behavior is better than demographics. Many candidates will default to segmenting by age, or in this case, they would segment by saying kids who go to doctors, adults, and then senior people. It's not wrong, it's just pretty generic. The second thing on this checklist is to be messy mutually exclusive, comprehensively exhaustive, which means for the mutually exclusive part, you wanna make sure that your groups don't have a huge overlap between them. In this case, people who have a chronic illness probably aren't the ones who only need one checkup yearly. They're probably going to the doctor multiple times. And comprehensively exhaustive, means you want to cover as much of the population as possible. But I would say 80% is good enough. Don't worry about the edge cases. The third thing on your checklist is to avoid niche. For big tech companies, they're most likely optimizing to build something for as many people as possible. And the fourth thing on your checklist is differing pain points, which means you want to choose segments who have noticeably different pain points. For example, people who have chronic illnesses will have the pain point of needing specialty doctors of which there's a very limited supply, especially if you have a rare disease. Whereas people who are going for their yearly checkup and are looking for generalist doctors will have a plentiful of supply to choose from, who probably don't have to spend as much as finding a doctor who's in a niche. The third step, I'm gonna teach you how to figure out which segments to prioritize. Let's borrow from the venture capital industry. These are organizations that invest in tech companies and they usually optimize for a couple criteria. For example, the first one is total addressable market. 
which plainly means the number of people being affected. And usually tech companies want to optimize for building products that affect millions, if not billions of people. A second criteria is frequency of use or engagement. Tech companies want to build something people are using regularly, not just once a year. The third criteria is building for an underserved population because that helps you not have to compete with the existing players out there who are serving the same population. And the fourth is spend. Understanding which customers have the highest revenue potential because let's not kid ourselves, tech companies are there to make money too. How you wanna use this is picking two to three criteria that you wanna optimize for. Then for each segment, score it from one to five with five being the highest and then multiply the numbers across the criteria to help you figure out which of the segments have the highest possible impact. You'll see my example here where I identify three user segments that I could be prioritizing between. And you'll see at the top, my three criteria that I wanna optimize for. In this case, it's total addressable market, frequency of use, and spend. And you'll see I'm giving each of them a score and the score is relative to each other, which means for spend, I come up with a score by comparing the chronic illness group with the group that needs specialty doctors. So try these tips and comment below if you have any clarifying questions and support the channel by liking this video and subscribing to the channel and check out these other videos to help you in the product sense, product design question. Thanks guys.